four months ago to this very date, September 4th. I booked a last minute trip to Istanbul, Turkey to get the head fixed, a 3000 graft hair transplant. And this is what I looked like. Hey. <laughs> now, four months later, after many, many painful stages, this is how we're looking. Are you ready? You are? What the f is up, YouTube? Okay. I didn't want to just use this video to show off the results of the four month hair transplant that I would say, in my own opinion, is fairly extreme for four months, okay? The thickness of the hair is almost that of the natural hair, which was thick as fuck. I was like a microphone walking around this. Don't mind the dodgy haircut, doing that shit myself. I gathered the most asked questions I've received since getting the surgery done across all social medias, and we're gonna answer them in this video. Okay, hands down, number one asked question, how much was the surgery? Lads, I got a brand deal. Ching! But if you want to get the surgery with the clinic I got it done, I think it's 2800 And I, I'm almost certain that's including like hotel, flights, everything. So it's a fucking steal. How sore was the needle at the start of the procedure? <laughs> the numbing needles, bro. I still have nightmares about them. Lads, the numbing needles is the only painful part of this entire process. Except the day after when your head is pulsating like mega mind. After that. It's not sore. However, these numbing needles, bro, when I'm talking about pain, I'm talking 10-10 on the Richter scale. Brain shaking painful. But it's only for like 30 seconds. So if you could go through a little bit of pain for 30 seconds, up to five minutes, you're good. I would go and do it again in a heartbeat. How long is the recovery process and how long do you have pain slash discomfort post-op? Recovery process, I would say that's only the first 14 days. Once all the scabs are gone, you basically have your normal head back. You just look like a fucking nut job. So the pain and discomfort I'd say is only about seven days. You're sleeping somewhat upright. It's sore to touch. It's just like a scab. If you get a scrape on your arm and a scab forms, you touch it. It's numb, but if you try pick it, shit sore. So I'd say it's only about seven days. after seven days you just have a scabbed head after 14 it's all off look like a fucking nut job hair all falls out look 50 years old hair goes back look young as fuck again can being on the apple juice cause the transplant hair to fall out now the hair that's taken from the side of the head i think it lacks in whatever hair has in it that dht just makes that shit shred so the transplanted hair will not fall out but the hair behind it may recede. So use some insurance like finasteride and you will be good. This is a good one. Has your hair improved your performance when training? Lads, it's the equivalent of getting yourself a new fucking gym top or a new gym outfit. You just feel good that day. When you feel good that day, you're gonna train good that day. So I would say getting a new hairline has positively impacted my training. I did get offered to get this done. I would have waited a little bit longer until it was back to like maybe until I was bald. Um, you just you just feel better. Skyler, what's up, bro? You've been sitting there, haven't moved like a statue the past 10 minutes. You good? Say what's up, man. Say what's up. You scared? You nervous? You shy? It's all good. Happy with the growth to date. When was the turning point when you felt it started to look okay? I am extremely happy with how this shit is right now. Um, only four weeks ago, this, you could see my head. Like you could see the, the scalp. So it's thickened up that much in the past four weeks. And again, it doesn't feel any different. It feels exactly like the rest of my head. It's as if the hairline was never gone. I'd say from three months onwards, I started to look okay. Did you come off the apple juice when getting your hair transplant? I wasn't on. I was in like a recovery phase. So like an eight week, eight to 10 week TRT phase. I felt like that would be the best period to go and do it. But the moment I was back in the gym after the 14 days, back on. That was when I started to bulk. And absolutely no damage caused to the hair at all. Maybe a bit of dryness, but other than that, I feel like it almost helped my growth. Don't take my advice on that one. Biggest issue slash setback during these four months. There wasn't any, if you want to consider like social life being set back in that aspect, like I wasn't able to go on a night out because I looked like a fucking madman. But other than that, nothing really. I was still outside. I didn't care whether I looked like a nut job. I just wouldn't go to a club looking like a nut job. You get the point. Isn't really any setbacks if you don't let there be setbacks other than the 14 days of no training. Just embrace the nut job. Could you lose more hair behind the transplanted hair? Yes. So use something like finasteride. Products you use, you know what? Let me show you. These are the only two products I use. This hair serum and this shampoo. Haven't used finasteride, haven't used minoxidil, none of that. But this is all I use. This is like just a, a vitamin and mineral oil and a shampoo. I see. Could you wear a hat after the transplant? I was after the 14 days. Some people wore like a big ass bucket hat during the 14 days, but f that. But yeah, I was wearing a cap from 14 days onwards and my shit turned out all right, bro. Last question I'll answer in this video. I will do another one of these at like the six, seven month mark because I feel like it's going to get a lot better than what it is now. It's just starting to look good now. Simply, 
was it worth it or is it too early to say? At the four month mark, I would like to formally announce my retirement from YouTube, I'm joking, that it was worth it. Okay, best thing I've ever done. Didn't necessarily need it when I got it done, but I'm so thankful I got it done when I got it done because if I didn't, I probably would have just kept procrastinating on getting it done, pushing it back, and then not have gotten it done and embracing the bolt. But here we are. Here is ticketing out. Jobs are good. All right, back on the grind 2024. Prep this year pro card. Get the fuck off my nuts. Over and out.